Hello crafty friends, Nina here. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to create more pages for the Chubby Chicks art journal that I started a few weeks back. I got two tags from the tag journal kit from Art by Merlene and then from a couple books from uh, Paper Elements from Art by Merlene from two recent releases. I did get pieces from the chubby chicks that I'm going to use today. Some of them were just the bodies and many heads that you can choose from. And the other I did cut half and I got the legs from another. Anyways, this is how it's going to be looking at the end. Then I got my fine tip black marker. I'm going to go around all the image. I'll show you a closer look so you can see what is the difference between the leg that is lined and the background that I'm going to use is quite busy. So I want my image to be defined against the background, to pop against the background. So this is it by the end. And I did glue the pieces together. Look how the definition is with the fine tip marker. And then I'm going to create a background. For the background, I'm going to use these collage papers. They create a quick background. And I'm going to cut all around these pages. This is also from Art by Merlene. You're going to find it linked down below along with all the materials and tools that I'm going to use today. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife and I'm going to place the art journal, the, the tag journal, the tag on top of my uh, collage paper. And then I'm just going to go a couple times all around with my X-Acto knife until they are totally separated in a clean cuts. Then to attach my page, uh, to attach the background to the tag, I am going to use this chunky, big, double-sided tape. And I'm going to show you how to properly add the collage paper to your tag without any bubbles in a very simple, easy way. First of all, I'm going to add my double-sided tape to my art journal, to my um, uh, tag journal, and then I'm going to cut all around it with my scissors. Then here is the tricky part. Do not remove the whole release paper. Just remove half of it, and then get your collage paper. So just remove half of the release paper, leave the rest over there, the bottom part is not yet glue, going to be gluing, the top part only. So align your clash paper to your tag, make sure that it's properly aligned, and then start pressing the top to attach the top part. Now the top part is attached because the release paper is removed, but the bottom part, we still have the release paper underneath. So the trick here is to bit by bit remove the release paper and then press your tag the collage paper. Remove the release paper a little bit and then attach and press on the collage paper. Keep doing this until the whole release paper removed. This way you're sure that as you remove the release paper you're removing the bubbles that might form and then by the end just make sure that the whole thing is properly attached. Just run your um, bone folder or whatever is in your hand that you're going to use all around the edges to make sure that it's properly attached. Then I'm going to do the same thing to the other tag. And I did uh, punch it with the crocodile to, to, to recreate the holes on top. Then I'm going to bring the stencil from Art by Arlene. And with the white acrylic, I am going to... The, the pink parts were so vibrant, so I'm just going to bring the white acrylic and make it less vibrant by adding this white cute pattern from the sophisticated release. I'm then going to define my edges with a purple, I think it's welted violet, with a dark purple from uh, Distress Inks with my blender. I'm going to leave the name uh, in the supply list down below in the description. Then I'm going to bring my doodle rubber stamps that I love using all the time on my backgrounds. I'm just going to define the edges more and I'm going to keep uh, stamping them all around the uh, sides uh, of the text. Then I'm going to bring my acrylic markers 
and I'm going to color all the doodles just like how I love to do every time. I was using colors that are from the background. I was using the same shades that are on the background. I, so I brought yellow, I brought purple and orange and also pink. When I finished coloring all these doodles, I found out that some of the edges need a little more um, doodling to balance the page. Then I started coloring them. As I was coloring, I just came up with this pattern that looks like the tribe style. It's orange, green, and pink, and white. I'm also going to see I did love the pattern over here that looks a little tribal. So I did make the ends that look like a rug. I just gave it some like a tassel end, just looks like a rug. And then I realized that my girls now need some green because I used the green for the tribal rugs. So I'm going to change the colors on my girls with the acrylic markers. So instead of the red, I'm going to color them orange. And instead of the blue, I'm going to make it green. So I'm going to add green in the triangles below. And I'm going to add green on the other girl on the floor, on the flowers on her dress. So I'm going to show you how it's going to look by the end. So to bring everything together, I brought the colors next to me, the tribal rug, and I did start coloring the same way. Then I did add the eyelets with my crocodile, the same colors from the uh, tribal rug. I loved it so much and I started making everything come together using the same colors. I did then back my girls with the foam tape. Then I'm going to place them. I'm just finding the best placement for them, this girl was easy. I did place her on the a little left, but for this girl, I took some time to make sure that she's center and at the same time she's standing on the uh, the ground that I created below. And at the same time, I don't want her hair to interfere with the holes of uh, of the eyelids, so I can easily put the ring through. So finally, I did center her, and then I'm going to commit and glue her. Check the flowers on her dress. I did change to green so everything would match with the tribal rug on top. I then brought a couple sentiments from the sentiment book from Art by Merlene. And I did find this one would look nice with shine like a star. And this one is going to be your vibe attracts your tribe. But I just discovered here I'm, as I'm editing the video that I did put it the other way around, I did put your tribe attracts your vibe. While it should be your vibe attracts your tribe, I'm going to uh, correct it before I take photos. You're going to find it correct in the photos. Then I brought a couple enamel dots. Some are stars for the girls that say shine like a star. And for the other, I'm going to uh, put just round enamel dots that match with the tribal colors. Look how cute everything is. It was so much fun creating these two pages, guys. I hope you had fun too. I will leave you now with the images. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps my channel a lot. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.